Hello and welcome back to the Volblom Knitting Podcast. My name is Lisa. So today I'm going to talk about all the things that I have knitted and the things I want to knit for my daughter. She is... Um, so it's seven weeks old this week, so still a bit of a tiny baby, but she's growing. So, but I'm very excited to knit everything that I want to knit for her, and yeah. So today I'm going to share all those things with you guys. So before I begin, so what I um. So when I started knitting for her, I only used cotton yarns and yeah, mostly cotton yarns. There is a cotton cashmere blend and a cotton silk blend here as well, but it's mostly cotton because I do know most of the times it's um, you don't really have an allergic reaction or sensitivity to cotton usually. So now, and now that she's born, I can try to see if she has a sensitivity towards um, animal fibers like wool or mohair. But mohair is definitely go I'm going to use later on when she's a bit older. But yeah, so so now most of the things are is cotton based. I have one merino based thing. Um, but yeah. And then the color scheme that I am using or gravitating towards is beige cream colors and then like a very light pastel green, pastel um, pink and yellow and um, a salmon color as well. So yeah, that's my color scheme. But I might turn to something else later on when she's a bit older as well. But for now, it's those colors. So yeah. So first is the things that I already finished knitted, that I have knitted for her already. So the first one is the Salic shorts. So this is a little shorty, it's still a bit too big for her, but yeah, um, soon I can start um, having her wear this. This is, I use Rowan Summerlight 4 ply for this in a natural colorway. So, I've knitted, I knitted this like in July, June and July, so it's a while ago. But I th if I remember correctly, it was knitted bottom down. And you have this beautiful Pico detail at the top. And you just do a eyelet eye hole detail there and then some lace and then again pico edges around the leg opening and then a eye cord for the top so yeah this is the Salix shorts the designer is Busy Deer Designs. So, yeah. Next one is the Cherry Blossom Romper. Dum -da -dum. The designer is Benja Kirk. So this one I used Katia Panama. I think it's Mercerized Cotton. And then this one is I think it's knitted top down. I can't remember. It's also been a while since I knitted this. But yeah, it's this beautiful lacy detail in the front and then a ripped leg opening. And I use some buttons for the top and bottom. So yeah, that's a romper. Designer is Benja Kirk. Okay, next one. This, I was, before I was pregnant, when I saw this pattern, I, I knew I wanted to make this for my baby once, one day. And now I have, and it's still too big for her, but it's okay. Um, I do think the pattern is from three months 
yeah so that's why it's a bit still big too big for her but it's from three months old so this is the pinwheel romper the designer i believe her first name is anur i'm not going to pronounce this to now because i know i'm going to butcher it but she designed this for pearl so pearl soho but yeah this is the pinwheel romper so you, you might see it's still big but it's it's supposed to be this voluminous and have this beautiful balloon like legs i'm just going to show in comparison the size difference so yeah but this i use um fibra natura papyrus and it's this beautiful i want to say it, it usually makes a mold fabric so this this is not the colorway but this is the brand fibra naturis natura papyrus behind <laughs> behind that's the brand so this one you start doing the hexagon um is the hexagon yes hexagon um front and back so it's worked in the rounds and you do increases at five points and then when once you finish one put it on hold and then do the other one once you finish the other one you pick up stitches or not pick up stitches but you can um, cast off some of the stitches to an um, I think there was this was cast off as well so cast off three sides and then the two two sides you keep live and then knitting around and do some shorter shaping at the bottom and then do the leg opening and then there's an eye cord um, ties at the shoulders so yeah this one's that I do think this she might be might fit her more when she's three months old or maybe a bit older this is still a bit big for her but yeah this is the pinwheel romper so this yarn is um has silk in it i believe it is 78 percent cotton and 22 percent silk yeah okay next one is the olive wrap let me just close this quickly so olive wrap by Pernia Larson for Knitting for Olive and I use the same yarn which is the Fibra Natura Papyrus but in just in a beige colorway so this one she has worn a bit but it's a bit big for her yeah so this is the olive wrap also beautiful modeling detail of the fabric so this one was knitted bottom up and it's a raglan detail and you um then these were also knitted bottom up and then you knit everything together and there's also a beautiful pico edge and then the ties at the side front so yeah so when she wears this her hands I still like in the sleeve so it looks a bit it's still a bit big too big for her but she, she looks so cute as well so this is also Fabra Natura Papyrus next one is a very special one so this is the Frida romper it's also a bit too big but she looks so cute in it as well but she she needs to grow into it as well so this designer is Kristen, I think it's Norgvist. Norg I'll put everything on screen and in the description box below. But this one is so beautiful. So this one is knitted top down. With some raglan detail and this beautiful cable details, like a smock detail as well. 
I really love this one. It's not really, it's not actually a cable, it's just wrap stitches. And then the Pico neckline, some cute puffed sleeves with Pico edges, and then a very voluminous body as well. And then the um, leg open openings, and I use these cute flower buttons at the bottom. So the yarn is um, Concept by Katya, Cotton Cashmere. So this is the brand, it's just not this, the same colorway. But yeah. And this, this, it's definitely, you can feel the cotton more than the cashmere. So it's, yeah, it's 90% cotton, 10% cashmere. So it's very soft. But she didn't have any reaction, so I think she doesn't have a sensitivity towards cashmere. And I also think maybe not towards merino as well, because I have knitted some merino stuff while holding her. And I just tasted like holding the fabric on, on her leg to see if there's a reaction. But I didn't see any reaction, so I think it might it would be fine for her, for me to knit her merino stuff and her to wear it. But yeah, very. This is the Frida romper. Oh, it does have like an eye keyhole opening at the back. So th the keyhole opening is a bit weird for me because it does gape a bit. But yeah, the front is the the beautiful part. So yeah, this is the Frida romper. Next is a crochet. My only crochet project for this year. So it is a little sun hat. So this sun hat is the Good Vibrations hat by Jeanette Benson. And her um, brand name is Air Crochet. I do have two other hats that I want to crochet from her designs as well. So yeah. So this one is knitted top down so you start at the center increase like that so it's only single crochet or double crochet single crochet us terms double crochet uk terms and then some um mm, single crochets in the back loop and she calls it spike stitches these longer stitches where you see the um, cream color so it's just a single crochet but two rows down so it's a bit longer so yeah this is the good vibrations hat the yarn i'm using for this or i use for this is l cotton's full ply so it's just a um plain cotton yarn so i have i use the cream color or natural color and then this is the moss green color for this hat and then I do have other colorways for the other hats I want to make for her okay so that is what I have knitted for her already I didn't want to knit too much before she was born because I didn't know how big or how small she would be but now I have a bit of a bit um, better reference um <clears throat> so yeah and also with this weather we 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 had this december has been very hot so i didn't put her in too much knitwear as well and most of these stuff are most of these items are too big for her the hat it only comes from a size um one years and up there's also an, an adult version as well but yeah um so, and you can also see a bit of my color scheme here. The very pastel green, sage green, and then the salmon color and the beige. And then the other items I do want to knit for her is ha does have some pink and yellow in it as well. So yeah, that is what I have knitted for her so long. So first I'm going to talk about the things, or next I want to go talk about the things I want to knit for her now most of these items are going to be from three months old three month old and 
some of the other items are going to be from six months because it's um, um more winter garments and she's going to be six months old when it's winter here so it's going to be a bit um bigger size for her and so she won't be able to wear it now but yeah first one i'm not 100 percent sure how to pronounce it but i think it's petite artichoa might be wrong and the designer i won't be able to pronounce it as well but everything's on screen and it's like a little bolero as well but, and i'm going to use this um concert by katia cotton cashmere this color is 66 and it's very peachy orange color so, yeah um yeah, gonna use this and just like a little bolero wrap, a wrap one I think. Yeah, and then I'll see what button I'll use. I'm maybe gonna use like a mother of pearl button as well. But yeah, just a cute little bolero. Next one is one of the other hats of a crochet. Um, I think it's Colu Coluni Have Coluni Have. Yeah, it's up on screen. So this one is um, two colors and also uses that spike stitch detail. And then the colors I'm gonna use for that is a um, burnt orange and a peach color, like that. This is also cottons, Al Cottons four ply. So I'm gonna use that one i'm gonna make that hat so this hat's also knitted top down but it has more of a flared um brim as well so yeah and it's also from one year old i'm gonna knit it or what sizes it comes so the sizes begin at one year um and i think it's gonna last her or she would be able to wear it a longer if i knit a one year one year size the next one is the coast hat. So this one is very similar to the other hat, but it's a um, mono color, one color hat. But the pattern is only in Danish. So I'm wondering if I'm going to buy it and just translate it. Or, But I do know the designer has a little note on her Ravelry um, pattern page, which she says the pattern in English is coming soon. So I might be waiting for that. Otherwise, I'm going to buy the Danish pattern and just Google Translate it. But yeah. So for that one, I'm just going to use the leftover um, and the natural colorway like that for the from the owl cottons as well. So yeah. So that is so all those hats are crocheted next one i want to make a a wrap dress the um, pattern names on up on screen i can't pronounce it sorry but this one it's a cute wrap summer dress so and i'm gonna i'm gonna make it from nine months to 12 then size 9 to 12 months old i'm gonna use this fabra natura papyrus in this beautiful yellow very soft yellow so I don't think this yellow has a color name. No, it's just a um, code 22903. Yeah. Very summery, buttery yellow. So I think she'll look very cute in that as well. So yeah. Um, next one is Loose Dress by Gabrielle Vizina. So I knitted one of her tops a while ago couple of years ago and she has this beautiful dress pattern I think it was for her daughter um, but yeah it's a very it's a plain front bodice and then lace in the skirt part of the dress and it uses double knit and I saw this beautiful Miss Lamott bouquet so double knit the colorway is bouquet and Beautiful. My mother got this color from this yarn for me or well, for her granddaughter. But yeah, I think it's gonna look so cute. So this 
So this one, I'm going to make this 6 to 12 month old size. And I'll hopefully, I'll see if it will fit her next, like 2025, in the year 2025, for the next winter. Because this is Marina, so I want to have her wear it in the colder months, like as a pinafore. Um, but I'll see, maybe there is an option, or I'll see if I can make it a bit longer if I need to and see how I can adjust the size so that you can wear it for more years and not just for one cold winter season. But yeah, this is Miss Lamont. This beautiful colorway. Um, next one is a mobile. So I think it's Lillabros, Lillabros by often stick yeah often stick okay um so this one does you mo does use does use mohair do you use mohair does use mohair okay that's that sounds a bit weird but yeah um but because it's a mobile it's going to be a bit higher she won't be able to put it in her mouth so i think it will be fine but yeah i have beautiful mohair here so this is nurturing fibrous kid silk so this is 70% 70 mohair 30% silk and I have it in five colorways here so this is cherry blossom this is sun kelp sun sun lit kelp This is a warmth, and this is Atlantic, and the last one is Vanilla. So this um, top I'm wearing now, I use Nurturing Fibers Echo Fusion for this, and this is also the Vanilla colorway, and it's my most, you know, it's such a beautiful um, creamy white. I think it's very beautiful. Not too blue, bluish white, and not too yellow, yellow. Just perfect. Like vanilla ice cream. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm gonna use these yarns for that mobile. And then I have, I would see what I'm gonna make with them leftovers. I think it's. I might be able to do something cute with that as well. Okay, next one is a ruffle shorties. So this is a design by um, Kate Oates. I don't have the yarn yet, but I think I'm going to use Nurturing Fibers Echo Lush for this. So that is a cotton and bamboo viscose mix. I think it's 60% cotton, 40 percent bamboo viscose I might be wrong but yeah it's not hundred it's not 50 50 it's um 60 40 something but yeah so these shorts it looks so cute I'm gonna make the size 12 months because usually babies start walking around 12 months and some start earlier but I'm gonna make the 12 year 12 month old size okay next is a the camilla sun bonnet so i don't have yarn yet for this i might use some leftover yarns of something but it's the it's also by the designer anur and it's a bonnet with um mostly gorgeous stitch and it's very cute i love it um next is the amelia um, amelia amelia jacket Designer is Natasha Gizamova, I think. Um, so this one, it's it has this beautiful ruffle detail. It's so cute. But I think I'm going to make the 6 to 9 month old size. Because um, it's going to be warm. It's going to be a warm garment. So I want to make it for the colder season when she's a bit older. And I'm thinking of using a yarn like um 
drop sky or I think the pattern calls for drop sky but they, I do know there's a concept like Katya sky as well that's very similar it's like a chain knit um, yarn so I don't have yarn for that yet but either one of those I might use for that but yeah, it's also very cute um, um, cardigan sorry if I'm looking off to the side my notes are there um, next is the Erantis hat so the Erantis hat is also a knitted hat by Knitting for Sif and I'm going to use the leftover yarn of the Salex shorts to make that hat I'm going to make the um, well the smallest size I can't remember what the sizes are but the smallest one so that she can start wearing it now because I do think the other hats are still going to be too big for her but yeah so because we have lovely summers here and I do want her to go outside while we spend time outside with the family but still protect her delicate skin so yeah, the Erantis hat next is um, the little dream sweater so this one is a design by Claudia from Unit Toronto um, the yarn I do have already but it's not with me at the moment it's with my mother she got the yarn um, in Northern Ireland when she went to visit my sister it is Camarosa yarn it's the cotton and merino mix I'll put the the yarn name the specific yarn name on the screen but yeah it's a natural it's a natural color and then a pink um, darker pink color I want to make that that yoke sweater for her for the winter month so the six to nine month old size or six to twelve month old okay yeah so that one's six to twelve months and then lastly what I want to make for her so most of these patterns I think you might have seen it's within one year old so I want to focus on you for um, her first year and then next year I'll focus on the next year so but if I see something that I want to make for her that's more than one year that the size is one year and up then I'll make it but I'll see but the last thing I want to make for her is the birthday crown and that's going to be for next year um, but it's this beautiful um, knitted crown I want to make it for her that she can wear it on her birthday next year in November so I think it will be cute so yeah that is most of my knitting plans for her at the moment so I do want to share some other some of the designers that I'm going to look so their patterns is very beautiful for me so if I want to make something else for her I will look for most first at these designers patterns so the first one is knitting for Sif. So that there's such there's so so much beautiful lacy patterns, and she has like the Erantis hat. She has the Erantis romper, the dress, the cardigan. I do want to make the cardigan. It's so beautiful. Um. So it, it, there's some themes that she uses through some garments, like the Erantis. I can't remember the other ones, but it's yeah want to make the some of the Eranta stuff and maybe some of the other designs as well um other one is Natasha Gizamova the one for the Amelia jacket so she has a couple of Amelia items as well I think she has the Amelia dress I think yeah <laughs> um then Pernille Larson for knitting for olive and then lastly petite knit so with petite knit I'll, it's very um, minimalistic type of garments but some of the garments for the baby stuff is very um, um, warm cold weather so it's very bulky and it's very hot here so I won't be I didn't make any um, petite knit newborn stuff but there's some of the toddler dresses that's so so beautiful for, to me like the festival dress so I might make that when she's a bit older and starts to walk and everything so yeah 
that is the design that I'm going to look at if I want to make something else. And then this is um, some gift nets that I have received for, for my daughter that I want to share. Some garments and well, socks and toys. So this beautiful socks I got gifted by a knitting friend. So I do know these is African Expression Soul. I'm not 100% sure what this yarn is, but it's so cute. So the pink one is the smallest size. And this fits her at the moment. And then this is the second bigger, or the slightly bigger one, and then this col colorful one is the biggest. So yeah, thank you so much for these beautiful socks. Next is some, I th in English they call it lovies, but it's like the, um, yeah, a fabric with a head on it, but yeah, this one is like a duck version, so it's very cute. This one is crocheted. And then a cute little duckling face, so very cute. Next is a bunny lovey. So this one's also crocheted. This one is um, cotton yarn. And this one has such a beautiful skirt as well. So yeah, this one's cute. So thank you so much for this. And then this one my cousin knitted for her. So this is the toad and frog pattern. I think the designer is Christina Ingrid McGovern. And it's so cute. And she designed, or she knitted this um, hat um, without a pattern. So she just made that and it's so cute. I love it. So yeah, those are some of the gift knits that um, my daughter has received. So yeah, that is my baby knitting plans at the moment. So it might change later on. Um, I'll, I'll also see how she reacts towards the different fibers, the merino, but I do think it doesn't look like she has a skin sensitivity towards it at the moment. So yeah, that's that. So thank you so much for watching. This is my last video for 2023. Very soon it's going to be 2024 and then we're going to have so much fun knitting for this year and I'm going to have so much fun playing a bit of dress up as well so yeah i hope everyone is having a wonderful day and that you um have a wonderful new year's and spend the yeah have a wonderful new year's and i hope everyone is doing well so yeah, thank you so much for watching bye bye